Hi, I'm Joshua Hamlin here with Matthew Kay at Brick Fair, Virginia, and we're joined by Caleb Smith from Lego Education. So thanks for talking with us, Caleb. You want to tell us a little bit about what you do with Lego Education? Sure. So I'm the marketing uh, coordinator for community, and my job is to network with educators all around the U.S. Um, I do it physically. I do it with um, some of our lead educators. I do it with robot camps, FLL groups, Boy Scout troop leaders, um, 4-H groups. And then I also work with our online community on a global scale. I bring together people from France, from the U.S., from Canada, and I monitor and I build those relationships. Very nice. So where is your uh, Lego education based out of then? Where do you do most of your work from? Sure. So I'm based out of Pittsburgh, Kansas, um, which is two and a half hours south of Kansas City. Um, <laughs> Big town. town of 20,000 people. 20, people. Uh, Pittsburgh State University. Okay. You should look it up. Okay. Um, it's a very cool town. I have about 26 colleagues within my building, and um, we just sell and market Lego education. Okay. And something that a lot of people might not be aware of is that there are a lot of LEGO education products that LEGO sells out there. If you want to talk a little bit about some of those. Sure. So we work in the classrooms. We build curriculum. Um, we kind of build the pieces, build the sets, uh, create the containers for that. And we have products ranging from elementary through middle school. Uh, we also have Duplo, and it's all curriculum-based. We have uh, literacy. We have math. We have robotics. Um, and then we also have upper elementary STEM focused. And so describe your most typical use case scenario. Like what's your most typical like uh, like use of Lego education product? Is it like a sort of a side activity like in a classroom environment or? Yeah, so it's actually both. Uh -huh. So it is um, in the middle school, it's more extracurricular. Okay. And then in elementary, it's more core classroom. Okay. So it's very much like uh, we have a set called More to Math and it's very much math driven. Um, it is used as a core curriculum for teaching math. Um, it can also be used as a substitute or an alternative, but it has standards and it does meet every state in the U.S. Very interesting. So you can kind of tell that uh, younger children, it's a more core learning kind of thing, and then as you get older and older, it just becomes kind of a, a side, sort of like a supplemental sure. uh, activity. Very nice, very nice. And there's actually classes who are dedicated to robotics, dedicated programming, and they would bring Mindstorms into their class, and they, that's all they would do, is just do Mindstorms for a whole period. Interesting. And now, a uh, really interesting, uh, you mentioned Pittsburgh, Kansas, and I know uh, LEGO's North American office is in Enfield, Connecticut. Could you give a little bit of a background as to why LEGO Education is located in Pittsburgh, Kansas, and not Enfield? Sure. So, Pittsburgh, Kansas, uh, it's kind of funny, but we, uh, LEGO Education, used to be part of another company called Pitsco, which was founded in Pittsburgh, Kansas. And so we were kind of like a third-party <laughs> license. Um, and then in 2012, we started to merge in with LEGO Group. And in 2013, we became part of LEGO Group. And then uh, we just started moving from there. And so now we have LEGO Education in Kansas. Um, there's LEGO Education in other places, like near London. Um, and then, of course, the main headquarters being in Billund. That is very interesting. So that's something that I totally would not have known. I probably could look that up online somewhere, but thank you for explaining it. Awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. So obviously you're here at Brick Fair. What other types of shows or conventions do you help support with LEGO Education? So I mostly work in um, kind of the teacher environment, the education environment. So I work with um, national science teacher associations, um, international science. Um, I can't remember the name of it now. ISTE. Uh, we do mostly do a lot of big conferences um, to where we show up with our vendors. Um, we'll work with groups like Scholastic or Pearson, um, and then we will kind of meet together. We'll be in the same building, kind of like what you would see here at Brick Fair, mm -hmm. um, except we have all of our models there. We kind of show what we do and why teachers should use our products. So what led you to uh, working at LEGO Education then? Was this like your go-to college for a job like this, or what, what made you want to work there? Um, this is definitely the right time, the right place situation. I saw a job open for Pitsco. I applied. It turned out it was for LEGO. Um, when I was hired, I went straight from college to LEGO education, and I started within about a month after graduating. Um, yeah, it was definitely just the right time, right place. I had the it experience. Always likes that. It's always like that, right? You oh, know, yeah. You're just there. Yep, yep, I know it. I know Those it. accidents. I love it. <laughs> So yeah. what do you think of Brick Fair so thus far? Is this uh, your first AFOL uh, LEGO convention that you've attended? So this is my first large one. I went to Brick Fiesta last week. Okay. Um, it's been great so far. Um, I've had a lot of fun. <laughs> the models have just blown my mind. Um, but it's great to see LEGO being used in these extravagant ways. 
I see teachers use them in classrooms, but I never see other people use them. Does it sort of give you ideas for like uh, expanding the scope or maybe a new use case for uh, Lego education, like seeing the, what's being done here at all? Or yeah, kinda... um, I've met a lot of teachers here who have built some models with Mindstorms, and I never see them built like that in the yeah. classroom. And I'm like, teachers could do this. They could manipulate these in the classroom and make them work for their curriculum. That's awesome. And so hopefully I can provide some insight, and hopefully I can encourage the other teachers here to provide insight. And so I guess by the same token, I'd like to, I, I, in Toys R Us, I recently saw a couple Lego education sets. I was very happy to see them. Do you think that the AFL community and the Lego community, Lego fans at large, could be using Lego education more? They could. Yeah. Um, it's definitely something that we provide the opportunity for. Um, what you'll see in Toys R Us is mostly Duplo. Uh -huh. um, so that way preschool teachers can just come in, they feel comfortable. Um, we don't prevent people from using Lego education products. And we I think that's something people most people using. don't know, right? Yeah. yeah. We have a lot of part packs. Uh -huh. um, we have EB3. Um, we have a lot of uh, uh, system technique bricks that you can use, a lot of Duplo uh, technique bricks. Um, it's a great variety. It's a lot different than what you could get in the Lego store. Um, so we encourage everyone to go check it out. Certainly. And I believe you also have, with the great ball contraption going behind us, you also, Lego Education has little Lego, like, uh, metal balls, right? Like the, sort of like the soccer balls they use in the great ball contraption? Yeah, so they're about the same size as one of those balls. Um, solid metal, pretty heavy. Uh, we mostly use them in education to do quick turns with our robots. Uh, but they're also used for things like a gravity drop. So having middle school kids uh, test gravity, uh, measure gravity, um, some different components like that. Very cool. So for people who might be interested in learning more about Lego Education or teachers and people like that that want to get involved, where's the best place for them to go? LegoEducation.us. Um, you can check us out on our community, LegoEducation.com slash community. Um, all of our information for all of our products, you can check out what teachers are doing, um, how just average people are doing. Um, you can check out how after school curriculum, how other people are building these models with education products. Awesome. Okay. Thanks for talking with us. I appreciate it, Caleb.